Okay guys, hello. So today I'm gonna be doing my hair and I'm gonna do like a hair video. FYI, I just started doing my hair like two weeks ago. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to do it. I just, it was in 14 braids, like seven on this side, seven on that side. And I took it out, had a braid out for a few days, but now I'm gonna redo it because you see it's not even really curly anymore. It's just kind of more nappy. So basically I'm just gonna be doing it again. Or maybe detangle it first, I'm not sure. Then I have this can to moisturize me, twist it, and I put on it before I braid it. And then when I get done, I use this sheen spray to spray on top of it. And then I'm going to attempt to do my edges with this. And then this edge brush I bought yesterday. And then I'm going to rub again and then I go. Okay, guys, so this took my hair out of this. And it is still kind of curly a little bit, but you see how some of them are straight. So, the first thing I'm going to do is it's already parted down the middle, so I'm just putting it into two sections. And then I'm going to detangle each section with this. It's the Dream Kids. It's for kids, but it works for me. It's the moisturizing detangler. Okay, so I had it down the middle and then now I took out one section to do first and basically instead of just spraying it on my head, I try to do it like this and then just rub it together and do that. I'm not an expert, I'm nowhere near, I'm more like a beginner, but this is what works for me. Um, I don't want to put too much because I don't really want it too wet. I'm gonna do one more. So I'm gonna detangle each part and then comb through it. Yeah, that's basically what I'm starting with. So, because my hair is so thick, I mean, it's not that thick now because it was blow dry, but you know, it hurts to comb it. So, trust me, if I was just going through this regular without this detanger, it would not be going through like this. So, basically, that's what I'm going to do with each part. And then, I'll be back when I do something else. Okay, guys, so I detangled it. It's so crazy how it got puffier. But, so basically, now, I'm trying to put this side up. Because I'm going to do one side at a time, obviously. So, I'm just going to put this up. So I just did the detangler, now I'm going to part and then grease my hair because my hair is so dry so fast. Like not the actual hair but the scalp does. So don't judge me on my part. Uh, actually, I don't ever use a comb to part. But basically, I want to do three big braids. So three and three, but they're not going to be too big. But I just got to figure out how to part them. You know, but not having it in my face like I did the last time, so I think it should be just a little bit bigger. So, basically, that's the part um, for the first one, yeah. they're not going to be the same size. Um, I need to go get a thingy, so basically, I'll come back after I get done greasing. Okay, guys, so I'm back, I just put that up. Basically, I don't actually like grease my whole head. I just um, make this part and then I'm gonna put grease right in there. Um, not good at this part either, but I'm using the mirror right here. I need to take some like hair learning classes because child. Like all I literally do is work on all the time, so. Alright, boom. So I did that. Now I want to, um, because I'm gonna grease it, make a part, grease it, and then braid it up. So it's easier that way and it gets done faster. So basically, with the can to twist and lock gel, I'm just gonna put some on the whole thing. I hate how like the 
this feels weird, honestly. But so, and it gets in. I need to cut my nails before this because it gets in my nails. So I haven't really noticed a big difference with this. I mean, the braids stayed in longer, but you know how the part up here just gets real frizzy, you know. But um, so I do that then. Set up, you know, but um, and I like to take two rubber bands and then put it in a ponytail and then braid it. So, all right, guys, so I made the little ponytail part, I'm gonna braid it back so it's not gonna actually be in my face. So, I grab more of that, the twist and lock gel, and I um, just rub it on, rub it on, rub it on. I got a band aid on. So that's gonna get my nerves. But um, so I do that. You see how it gets like, you know, not as frizzy as this. And then I just grab some, rub it, and then I just start breaking it. So the only thing I actually really know how to do is braid. You know? You gotta braid it back a little bit. You see how that part, I can't get too close. So this is just a hairstyle that lasts me till next Sunday, so that's all. I'm not really worried about it too much. Because I'm trying to, I don't really have to braid. But um, basically, so I just braided down. Last time I didn't get too close, it looked like I had pom pom. But Trying to get as low as I can. Okay. It's already frizzy at the top. It's kind of ridiculous. But it's just like a quick quarantine hairstyle, I guess. So, trying to get down as low as I can. My fingers are a little bit too big. I still got some out, but as of right now, it's really thin, so, <laughs> so, now, I'm going to put this at the bottom, obviously, boom, so that's one done, uh, I'm only doing three, so, Putting some this some cream on it. Oh, it will stay. And I'll be back when I'm done this side of my hair. Alright guys, so I'm working on the other side now. I greased down the middle and I greased down the side and you know, now it's time to braid up. How the other side looks like this. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat again. I am no expert, I know the nerd. But this is basically, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. But the next time I leave the house, will probably be Friday. So, this is really basic. Um, I was thinking about twisting it, but you know, twist will only last too long when they start to untwist. If anything, it helps me start to learn how to do my hair. Like, I hate how there's like always one little short piece. Yeah, so annoying. So it's never short when you first part it. But it's always short when you get down to the bottom. So it's hard to keep going. Let's see if these bigger ones last. Long as the little ones, because I'll probably take it out again Friday and then do a braid out. But if not, then this is all I can last with that little short piece. That's why it looks like I have pom poms on, like it's annoying. I'm just wanting to film. Video. See how I do my hair. Usually it's 
up in um cornrows. But anyway, when I get down to the bottom here, I'm just gonna retwist it. Well, not retwist it, but I'm gonna twist the bottom of it and then put another rubber band on it because I don't really like the pom pom look. I mean, it was cute. Y'all should see the amount of hair I have on this gray thing. I'm just detangling my hair. I will talk to you guys when I am done. This part. Alright guys, so, oh god. I need to set up, but I am almost done this last one. It is so dry, like would think I've never greased my hair and it is so dry and, uh, and it's already frizzy I don't know if y'all can see the frizz but yeah you see that that's ridiculous so I'm gonna try to smooth that down <sighs> but I don't know how but I may just rub some of that up on top bigger ones go way down further than the smaller ones do. I'm just happy I'm finished. My hands are small but they're literally not small enough for this. So. Sorry for the music in the back. TV on. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. braiding and stuff so now I'm taking this and I'm rubbing it in my hands and I'm trying to put it on my scalp not on my scalp but on the hair that's already getting frizzy and it's actually smoothing it down for now like I don't know how long it's gonna smooth it down or keep it smooth but yeah my hair's gonna be wet for a little bit I just want the hairstyle to last. You know it's not good. But yeah. So, basically now, I want to, um, do my edges, I guess. Actually, maybe I'll spray. I don't know. Everything's old, so it just falls old, so. That's supposed to, I don't know, but um, basically, I'll be back once I clean this stuff up for a second. Hi guys, so I'm gonna attempt to do my edges. I would be lying to you if I said I did my edges before. I have never done my edges. So based off of what I've seen people do, that's most interesting. Um, they don't they like. I'm going this is pretty hard. I did not expect it to be hard like that. So I'm just gonna put some on, right? <laughs> like y'all can answer me. So I'm gonna put some on. Cause I don't wanna dip the brush in there. I don't know if that's what you do. I already tried to lay some of them down. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm trying to. Then it's like, see? Oh wait, maybe I should take my glasses off. That's not looking good whatsoever. Um, Chop, please. But, um, it smells weird. So, that's my hair. That should stay up there. This is going to be a funny video, nonetheless, because. I ain't put enough there. I'm so picky, like I don't want stuff on my hands. 
Lord have mercy. All right, let's try to use right here for all. Let's it dry up before you get there. Like, I don't want it to be dry. It looks so easy when other people do it. And then when I, <laughs> when I'm doing it, it looks horrible. It's not easy whatsoever. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Because so. child, if I was going somewhere. Well, I should have just kept them up. I don't know. But it has this little comb. Like, what does that do? Is that like comb? That combs it up. Now I'm like making my hair frizzy again. One more time on this side. Can I just do it with my hand? No. That, the answer to that is me. I'm gonna throw some of this on my scalp. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm gonna give it because it's not gonna get me better. I'm just gonna take some of this and rub it on my scalp. Ugh. It's still kind of wet, but you see how it's so greasy up there. Hey, child. Um, but basically, that is it. Alright guys, so basically this is the finished product. Yes, it's frizzy. I don't honestly even know what to do with that. Maybe I'm just not using the right products. I just used whatever was in the house. So basically, there's three braids. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but there's three braids on each side, like I said. And basically. So yeah, it's really white. It should dry, but that's my attempt at my edges. Um, hopefully this hair file lasts for a week. Um, if not, I'll just do another one. I don't even know what to do anymore. But, thank you guys for watching my hair video. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends, because it's funny. But, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Um, I know I said I was doing it, but... I'm gonna put this one in there. Frizzy. Mm -hmm. I'm using y'all as this video for the camera. So, what I actually swear I'm gonna use. Because the other braids are not working. So, this part is probably just tight right here. I ain't gonna keep it on for a long time. Tries to put the frizz down. Don't make sense. It's frizzy. Child, I don't think it's gonna help. Hold on, let me move this down just a little bit. Um, I okay. Whatever. So that's it. It's not even tight enough. I don't think it's even gonna do it. But. For now, and when I go to bed tonight, I'll play it back. But I don't know why this part don't want to go up there because it's five o'clock. I need to see. But that is it. <laughs>